I miss talking to her. I just got off the phone with a friend I haven't heard from for a while. We haven't talked since an incident that occurred a few months ago. It's not that we didn't want to talk to each other. We did. It's more or less that we couldn't. Her name's Crystal. She was four years older than me and acted like my older sister. Our moms were best friends and they always told me that even before I was born, Crystal was calling me her little brother and couldn't wait to meet me. I would awkwardly blush, but I was secretly happy about that. As we grew up, we went to the same school, were friends, were different people, and all of that. She was more popular, but it didn't stop her from talking to me, even though it meant that she lost some of her friends. I would always apologize to her and try to push her away. That didn't stop her from being my sister. I remember when I was in third grade, the other kids started teasing her about how she was in love with me. She was handing out little invitations to a sleepover, and one had my name on it. She looked, she drew a little heart on the envelope. You know how kids are, and they started teasing. Since she was near my locker, I pushed into the crowd to stand up for her. Leave my sister alone. This started the little group making gagging sounds and saying it ill. One kid even had the nerve to laugh and say, Gross, you're in love with your own sister? And they still laughing. Crystal handed me my card and ran off. It was obvious that she had started crying. I didn't see her for the rest of the day. And I was certain she was avoiding me. I went home and my mother asked me about my day. I lied and told her it was fine. And I put my backpack on the table. The little pink card stood out of the bag and my mother glanced at it. Did Crystal invite you for her sleepover? Yeah, I answered with a little bit of anger. Aren't you going? She seemed a little concerned and a little sad. No, I don't think she wants to see me. Well, she gave you the card, didn't she? Look, I'll have to go see Crystal's mom anyway. Grab your Nintendo, a few games, and come with me. I promise it'll be fun. Whatever, mom. I ran to my room, grabbed my games, and pounded the entire ride there. When we arrived, I quickly forgot him, but my mom and set my things by the closet. When I looked over, I could see no one had come and Crystal was sitting all by herself at the kitchen table. She looked over at me, hopped out of her chair and ran. I think that was the biggest hug she had ever given me. We played video games and ate pizza until the sun came up the next day. Years later, Crystal went to college and I was focused on finishing my last year of high school. We didn't keep in touch much, but I didn't mind. I knew we were both busy with our separate lives. Before Crystal finished her last year of college, she invited me at night with her and her friends. I don't know why, but I politely declined and told her I'd make some time for another weekend. 
After all, it was the holidays. She'd be around for another week. And besides, it was snowing like no one's business. I got a call and wished I'd had spent that evening with her. Now, I've hit a wretch patch in my life, and I regret a lot of things, and blame even more on myself. They aren't really that important, though. About an hour ago, I was thinking about Crystal and how we haven't talked for a long time, and how she must blame me for all the bad things that had happened in her life. I was laying in bed, and there was a phone sitting on my desk near my bed. I usually use it when I don't feel like using up all the minutes on my prepaid phone. When my thoughts turned to Zarkus, the phone rang. Now, I usually ignore it since I usually only get scam calls on the phone, but I noticed that ring was different somehow. It was a short ring. I hauled myself up and grabbed a receiver. Hello? Hello? I was shocked to hear it was Crystal but it sounded like she was talking through metal, too. She sounded so far away. Crystal, what are you doing? Why are you calling me? Listen, I... I wanted to tell you, but... It wasn't your fault. I love you. Don't go. What are you talking about? I'm not going anywhere. You know it's my fault. Shh. You always do that. I wanted to say I love you, okay? Don't I? Her calls started cutting out and static started to cover her words. I can't hear you, you're cutting out. Please don't let the call drop, I miss you. Can you hear me? The phone cut to silence for a second, then back to a the dial tone. I put down the phone and I decided to write what just happened to me. Right on the wall next to my bed is a newspaper clipping I saved from last time I saw her. It reads right below a picture of her smiling face. December 19th, 2011, poor dead and vehicle accident pictured above was local girl crystal